Grandma Barb's garden is always flourishing with all types of greens and like always, she insists that we take something from the garden before we leave and my favorite y'all, collard greens. I am drowning in collard greens right now at my house. So I thought now is the perfect time to update my Southern collard green video, add in a little bit more detail for beginners. So today on Divas Can Cook, we are making my favorite Southern style collard greens Ever. I could live off of these greens y'all and of course it's easy to make so let's go okay step one we're going to remove the stems from our collard greens and here's all of our big beautiful leafy greens they're so pretty okay here is how you can remove the stems you can just kind of rip them away just like this on each side or you can hold it by the bottom of the stem and just kind of twist and roll your fingers up and that'll also get them off the leaf. You can fold the collard green in half and use a knife to kind of slice out the stem or you can do like I do, just fold the collard green in half and then just rip the leaves off the stem. Nice, quick and easy and I like quick and easy, okay? So once you're done removing the stems, you're gonna have a whole lot of stems on your hand, okay? That's a lot of stems. You can discard them or you can cook them. They're full of nutrients. I have directions for cooking these on my blog, so go on over there and check it out. All right, look at all these beautiful greens. We are rich, we're rich, honey, but they are filthy, so it's time for step number two, which is washing our collard greens, all right? You gotta wash them, can't skip this step at all. Okay, so to wash these collard greens, I'm going to start by filling my sink up with some cool water. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of white vinegar, okay? Then I'm going to add in some salt. This is our homemade vegetable wash. You can buy a vegetable wash, but you can also just make it from, you know, from scratch. A little bit of vinegar and salt, you're good to go. Okay, so we're going to place our greens into our little bath we made. Pile them on up in there just like that. That looks perfect. Lots of water in there. Now we're just gonna mash it down, kind of swish it around. I'm being very gentle on this video, you guys, but normally, honey, I'd be going crazy with this little water and greens, okay? You wanna really swish it around like it's a washing machine. Like, this is gonna help, you know, loosen up all that dirt, that salt, and that vinegar. It's gonna pull out any grits, any bugs, any icky stuff you have on these greens because greens are dirty, they're so nasty. Okay, now we're gonna let them soak for 15 to 20 minutes, drain and repeat. As many times as needed. You want the water to be nice and clean, all right? Nice, clean, no grit, no nothing, nothing. So once your greens have soaked multiple times, we're going to rinse them off individually in cool running water, scrubbing it front and back. It's okay to be a little bit OCD when it comes to cleaning collard greens because there is nothing worse than eating collard greens that have not been cleaned properly and they're like gritty. It's just, it's a disaster, okay? A disaster and we don't want that. Okay, each little green gets a little scrub and now we have a bowl of beautifully washed, clean, squeaky clean greens. So it is time for step three. We're going to cut the greens. We want these greens to be in bite-sized pieces so you can tear them up just like this or you can stack a few leaves together, roll them up just like that and then get your little knife and just cut them into little strips. Now I like this method because it does create perfectly, perfectly little ribbons of collard greens but I am a tear it kind of girl. I just get a handful and just tear them up and I kind of like the rough cut that it gives when you tear them by hand. And plus, you guys, whenever you can touch your food, mm -hmm, that's what you want to do because it really gets that soul in there. I love when I touch my food when I'm making it, it makes it taste better. It really does. So now that we have all that prep out the way, we can move on to my favorite step, which is cooking the collard greens. Yay, finally, finally, let's go. Okay. So here's the cast of characters that I always use in my collard greens because it makes the best collard greens I've ever had in my entire life. And for the chicken broth that I use, it's this brand right here. It's like a paste. I use a lot of chicken broth on my channel and this is always the brand that I use if I don't make it from scratch because it tastes so good and you just mix it with water. I always have chicken broth on hand. Okay, so to get started, we're gonna add our olive oil into a pot. We're gonna add in our onions. We're gonna cook these onions just until they are nice and tender and smelling divine. If you wanna add bell peppers, you can. I never do. Okay, next we're gonna add in some garlic. I like a lot of garlic in my greens. We're gonna add in some red pepper flakes for some spiciness because I like for my greens to be smoky, salty, peppery, vinegary, just very, very bold and flavorful, and this is how you get it that way. Okay, next we're gonna add in some chicken broth. If you don't wanna use chicken broth, you can use water, but once I started using chicken broth, you guys, I never went back, I never went back. Okay, there's my smoked turkey going in. If you wanna use a ham hock, you can, but you know, I don't eat no pork, so 
gotta be the smoked turkey. Okay, so we're gonna add our greens to the pot once we bring it to a simmer. And these greens will begin to wilt down very, very quickly. You can like really just see them wilting down like right before your eyes, they kind of wilt down. Place them in a pot just like this, smash them down a little bit. Now that we have our greens in a pot, we're gonna go ahead and cover them up. We're gonna reduce the heat down to a simmer. We're gonna let these collard greens cook for about an hour, hour and a half, just until they are nice and tender. Make sure you stir them up a little bit as they're cooking. And once it is done, the greens will be nice and tender and in Fused with all that flavor yes you guys I'm give it a taste I'm gonna add a little bit of smoked apple with salt because I love adding smoked salt to my collard greens it's so good when you have that smoked salt I'm also gonna add in a little bit of distilled white vinegar I prefer the distilled white vinegar over apple cider vinegar I think it just tastes a little bit more mellow then we're gonna add in a little bit of black pepper look at that y'all there's that pot liquor mm, that is what that's called all that juice in there is called pot liquor it's very very thick and flavorful and bold and it's like the best part of collard greens greens is the pot liquor the juices the gravy whatever you want to call it is so doggone good now go ahead and plate these collard greens up yes and I can eat this every single day of my life I really could I love collard greens and you can chop that smoked turkey up it's so tender you can chop it up and eat it with your greens if you want to but that is it we have just created the most flavorful pot of collard greens ever you guys it's so good add on that extra pot liquor yes some cornbread some hot sauce girl you are good to go. And that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, all that good stuff. And thank you so much for watching. Later.